More fun, fun, fun for the Cobra Daytona build. We are actually going to start wiring up our electronic parking brake assembly. Uh, I figured, you know, it's time to delve into this, start getting some wires run, and I figured this is uh, something we gotta get done. So follow along as kind of show you how we're gonna do this, and uh, we'll do it together. Never done one of these before, so um, join along, thank you. Okay, oh, by the way, you can see I got my tires. I bought these things used, um, pretty good deal, but uh, those are 335-3018s. Yeah, I mean, monstrous, serious set of rubber back there. So, but uh, we'll get into that one later. So what I've got here is the harness, which is gonna come into here. So I'm gonna basically set this up in the car. I'm going to, this is gonna run up into here. I'm probably just gonna zip tie these to the brake line up into there. As I said, I wish I had all these aluminum panels off. I think it'd be a little easier to get to, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so this is my right side. So after thinking about this a little longer, instead of going up this way, back across and over, I'm gonna run it down the control arm this way, pick it up onto here like this, and then I can shorten a whole bunch of the wire. Um, I almost think that's gonna be the best way of doing it. I will have almost none. Then I can put one more zip tie up into here. I'll have almost no motion on that wire at that point since it's right back at the pivot point instead of out here where you're gonna get a little more, not like out here, but basically the same thing. Um, I think that's gonna be a cleaner look. Now I am gonna have to cut into the harness. I am gonna have to shorten this a little bit. So, but yeah, no big deal. Um, but I think this is definitely going to be a way to do it on both sides. Uh, the other side, oh man, how am I going to, I guess I'll have to go up and over and down. So yeah, I think this is definitely going to be a way to do it. So that's actually going to over plan B here. Um, so this, this I think will be just a little bit nicer. As I said, this way, probably drill one little hole right there. It's kind of a clamp. Um, actually move this one right here something almost something like that Just like that So I think that that would be perfect and then I can finish taping this off a little more white just so it kind of disappears in there um, Yeah, so let's uh, cut the wire down. We'll shorten that up uh, We'll get this side here finished and I think this here will look very clean about as clean as you can make it So I've marked the harness uh, Here and here so I'm gonna cut it here um, and that's where I'm going to do my splice. So we're going to take out about a foot, maybe 14 inches. So we'll splice that in and uh, plug it back in and see where we end up. I've cut into the, the harness, as you can see. I've taped it back together again, just because I want to make sure before we go and splice all this up, I've got the right length on here. And... I'm gonna say that looks pretty darn good right there. Probably go a little, just a hair shorter, just a couple inches. So that should do it. So let's go splice this thing. Here's kind of the way the wiring's run. Zip tied to here to keep it back from the springs. Uh, running across here, white uh, electrical tape, just so it kind of blends in a little more instead of having black wires. Change to black here, zip tied here. And then uh, we got a clamp here, which then is securing this. This goes down the brake line all the way. We're gonna have to shorten these wires because they're made for a long car. So uh, once I get the back done, then I'll kind of pull this thing back apart and we'll shorten the wires so that way I don't have a whole bundle under here. And, uh, but yeah, I wanna get this whole back section done first. So we'll continue on with the other side, but uh, we're making some progress. So I've got the wires fed up into here. I'm just gonna zip tie them to the brake line. We'll run these all the way forward. And then once I get up into here, you can see I got a whole mess to shorten. So that's the problem. They used, uh, they didn't use split tubing. So it just makes this whole thing a little bit more difficult. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a whole mess here that I'm gonna have to shorten. So we'll figure it out. Okay, well I realized here, I'm gonna have to strip this whole thing back. I gotta pull this apart. I think I'm gonna somehow have to cut this it's just, this whole thing is a mess, and I think I can clean this up a ton. 
why they've got these wires here. I think these are all made to run up like to the engine compartment or something because you got battery feed there and everything. I, I can't do that. So I need to pull all this back. Um, I'm going to strip this. I'm going to pull this all the way back. These are the wires here that go to the switch. Well, they come off of the plug up there because everything's got to go through the, the brain. So I'm going to strip it back to at least here, cut this, pull this whole convoluted tubing off once I get it kind of peeled back. Yeah, this is not going to be fun, but you know what? If you're going to do it, do it right. And uh, this is the problem with buying this stuff that's kind of generic, you know, made for everything. You kind of got to make it work. And so I need to probably would have been easier just to wire the whole thing from scratch. Um, yeah, but but we'll uh, we'll strip it back. We'll get this thing figured out back most of the harness as you can see so now i can start trying to get this thing laid out a little better i definitely was not impressed i mean the harness was very well wrapped i've got to admit about that um but as i said i think this is going to mount up underneath the dash this is the control of the brain and then i'll pull out the power wires these will be their own i wonder why oh, that's the battery wire so these four here so i'm gonna have to cut all these black things uh, the electrical tape off so then I'll pull the power wires out that go to the um, calipers. Those will run down, connect in with those. And then from there, I can leave the rest of these things longer and I can cut these down later once I exactly know where the power is gonna be. But at least I've got the main harness done. Said so I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna mount the brain, but probably just right up underneath the dash, maybe on that uh, transmission top tunnel cover hidden up under there so we'll continue uh getting these things kind of pulled apart as i said i got to separate out these four big wires because those are for the uh rear caliper so i'll finish cutting all this back and then we'll, we'll make this happen so i've got the harness harness is all stripped apart i have reconnected the wires here uh but spliced all these together. So I'll slide this back over and this will get me up into behind the dash. And that's where I'll put the brain. And then I'll shorten these wires once I figure out where I'm gonna put the switch. I may put the switch on this side so the passenger can't get to it. I don't know yet. We'll kind of work on that down the road. So I gotta finish wiring these things up. See if I can win. I mean, I'm gonna be able to slide that. I'm gonna have to get a little bit bigger shrink tube over the top of this, so. But uh, yeah, so we're getting there, uh, shortening things up. Well, I just want to thank you for watching uh, the episode on the electronic parking brake wiring. Uh, we'll finish up the detail wiring and hooking it all up once we kind of get the car together. Uh, right now, it's just kind of the rough wiring, and then we'll uh, finish it up. So thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. Appreciate it, and looking forward to seeing you on the next episode.